Lulu, skip to Malusi. It gets two diamonds. Straight down two diamonds. Color menu, make it look easier. So see here, it's going to end up being the same as the veiling on the bottom, except it's going to have two carvings in there. You see that? We'll come down one, two. Now throw our two diamonds off to the side there. Two diamonds off to the side. Looks identical. Except. It's got two carbons in between it now. So leucine and valine are kind of the same. It's just that one carbon in there. So I'm sure somewhere, a little baby kindergarten, do this as a family, right? Now the little baby kindergartner gets to come out and go, I want to draw the dots. Two methyls. There's three dots on each of those. Boing, boing, boing. That gives it the fourth bond on the carbons. Oh, look. See, this one here even gets two dots in the middle. And one down there. This is leucine. Isn't this cool? I mean, this is kindergarten stuff. So those are the simple ones. We're about ready to start pulling out the good markers for the big ones. We've got to keep our template here. So let's go right up. This is recycled resume paper here. So we first got to do our nitrogen triangle line up over here is our carbonyl diamond we'll call it we'll draw it nice here It'll look like a diamond here it's called carbonyl diamond carbon Carbonyl diamond ring. How about that? No, I hate to say ring, but we're going to call it that because with the O there, it'll look just like a ring, won't it? I think we did something new. There's a diamond ring. <laughs> It's the only way it would work. If we used all the carbons to do a diamond ring, it would be a benzene, and that doesn't sound cool. So this is our carbonyl diamond ring, and we know that the point of that goes down to the middle of a diamond. Corner this diamond up to the nitrogen. See in there? The kids do this with the end. Going down, it's always going to go down there somewhere. Dots, dot, dot. What's our next simplest amino acid now that I tripped over the book and lost the page? Luckily, I stepped on it enough. Next is going to be isoleucine. So we were comparing the ones before. So here's leucine. Isoleucine now is the one we're going to do. So here's isoleucine. I could see mission I. What do they do? I L E. It's like three letters. In. So what does this one get? This one gets a diamond with a diamond on the side. I'm not drawing my diamonds very good, am I? Diamond on the side, then another diamond that then is connected to another diamond. So do you see the difference here? Only a chemist would notice. This is the same thing as having two on that one. And both in there. Two here is two there. So it's like having this one up on that with, what do we got here? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's called an isomer when there's the same number of carbons, but they can be arranged in different ways. 
So leucine, isoleucine, just having the carbon up on number two, they might call it or something, you know, start giving them numbers. We're not doing numbers, have you noticed that? No numbers, kids. Of course, when you learn this technique, you're going to be so enthralled, you're going to want to know numbers. So what do we look here? We know the end is a methyl, so boing, 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 there's the three. What we now find is, oh, I might have blown this one here. Isoleucine, you know, these are all what are called saturated. So there's a, another methyl out there. You can look real simply and see the methyls because you're going to have the three reds, boing, boing. And this is totally like saturated. There's no double bond, so all these just get the reds on them. So this is so simple when we go and draw the hydrocarbons later. It's amino acid backbone, right? Look how simple this is, kids. You're doing protein. This is what they do in college. And you're doing it here. Isoleucine. Now we're going to go. We've still got a couple more boring hydrocarbon ones. So what do we do here? We set up our template for nitrogen. We're getting kind of off center here. Nitrogen triangle. Come over here. We want the carbon diamond, carbonyl diamond. Call it the carbonyl diamond ring, but it's carbonyl diamond. And that goes to the diamond in the middle. You know, the diamond in the middle is off to the sides. So let's do something kind of weird, just kind of leave it like that. So we've got N. We need our green pen. I hate using my good. This is the green for the whiteboard, and I'm ruining it. But you guys are worth it. Oh. So see that already? Now we're starting stuff. What do we do? We said we always remember that there's going to be like a carbon connected to that right off the bat. So before we've even started, look at where we are. We can just focus. We're focusing down here. We're going to do one here called, these are polar ones now. We'll call this polar. Polar will write red. Polar. So what I'm going to do is down here for polar, the first simplest polar one is going to be serine. Serine. It's probably S-E-R, huh? Is that simple enough? So serine is going to have one carbon. It's going to be polar, so what do you think it's going to be? It's going to be a single bonded OH, dot, 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 serine, that's it. So draw it in, keep it consistent so when we line these up it'll look better. Mm. So serine, that's our first polar one. And this long hair template time we want to do a new some more of our paper here triangle diamond Are the birds in the background the birds are getting all excited about it once again we're gonna write polar Over here to this. See, the backbone is always the same. So I would make this like a class assignment where you've got to draw all the amino acids for a take-home project like this. And you got a week to do it. So if you did it wrong, you just have to do it again. Side to bottom, top to side. Down. Uh, we know there's usually always a diamond there. So look. We're already in business. Got the background one. Come along here. What's the next polar one? 
is going to be three o'nine. 